hell, man? Why should we point that thing? <laughs> hey, guys, it's Lamb, and uh, <coughs> we're doing a little unconventional uh, commentary here today, something I have uh, never done, and probably because I didn't do a terrible job at it. Um, first and foremost, I know what you're thinking. You're looking at my nose, wondering what the hell happened to me, and uh, what's going to happen with my modeling career. And, <laughs> well, last night, uh, I tried to catch a uh, softball with my face, and uh, it didn't work too well. <laughs> um, God, beer all over me. Um, and the other thing is uh, I, I wanted to let you guys know what's going on with my channel and what's going to happen in the next couple weeks. Uh, I might not be around that much online, not, um, not so much online, but uh, posting videos and stuff. Uh, reason being is we finally sold our house. Uh, we put our house up on the market a couple months ago and uh, we finally got somebody to uh, put an offer in. So uh, that means we need to find a house um, and get us moved out of here. So you know, eventually everything is going to have to get uh, taken down, put in boxes, and uh, you know, set up and all that stuff. So I don't know how long it's going to take. I hope, hopefully, not long. Um, the story is we, uh, after our second little girl was born, uh, at the end of March, we decided that we wanted to get a bigger house because we're. Uh, we're in a, what, three bedroom, two and a half bath right now, uh, and we wanted to get something a little bit, little bit uh, bigger and uh, off a, on a different street. We're, we're kind of on a busy street, not a really busy street, but kind of a busy street that, you know, the girls can't just go ride their bikes out in the uh, driveway and uh, feel comfortable about doing it. So we started looking, and uh, we found the house of our dreams, an uh, awesome house. And we put an offer on it. The, the house went up on the market, and we put an offer on it like the very next day. Um, they didn't accept our offer because uh, we, we had to sell this house first, and they didn't want to uh, accept that contingency. So long story short, um, two or three other people came in, put offers in that house. You know, They kept falling through, and we kept keeping our fingers crossed that we were going to sell our house. Uh, eventually, somebody did an offer. A, make an offer and they did accept it so um, so we lost that house in the meantime um, someone came in we had two people come in this week both put offers in on the house you know we it sat on the market here for I don't know, a couple months and we had a lot of traffic a lot of people looking at it nobody uh, put any offers well this week we had two and uh, the first one sucked it is lowballed us um, but fortunately that there was an offer out there that someone else uh, came in, they had to put in their, their best offer, you know, to bump this other guy out of the way. And that's exactly what happened. They had a, they had a great offer, it was really close to what we were asking for. Um, so we're, we're happy about that. Flip side of that is, um, we sold our house. Uh, they wanted to have a June 22nd closing date, or 26th closing date, which is like three weeks from now. That is just impossible. Um, so we told them we'd give them to the end of July. Uh, so that means we need to find a house, move, uh, find a house, close on it, and move by the end of July, which I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Um, I think what might end up happening is we're going to have to uh, put all our stuff in storage and move to an apartment for a while, and that is not, not going to be fun at all. But... Uh, that would also mean that you know all my Xbox and recording stuff and all that good stuff um, is probably going to go into storage uh, until I can get it out, until we get into a new house. So I don't know how many videos I'm going to be putting it up. Um, I have a couple, a couple saved to put up. I got some one v one v bros to put up. I got uh, one with Pogo on PS3. I got another one with uh, the one you're looking for doing some uh, tomahawks only, which is just stupid. <laughs> but uh, that and a couple other videos put up fun stuff. So I'll have a few here and there, but not nearly the uh, quantity that I have been doing. So um, what else? That's pretty much it. So yeah, I got hit in the face. The softball it sucked. <laughs> I'm the uh, catcher because you know that's where they put the most agile uh, players is catching and uh, oh shit beer <laughs> that's why I can spit beer on my floor because it's not my floor anymore I don't care <laughs> I'll clean that up um, but yeah I'm catcher and uh, the the batter um, fouled the ball he uh, he just tipped it ball came off the top of the bat 
and flew back and uh, I'm off the top, you know, the tip of my glove and smacked me right between the eyes and god damn it, that hurt. Actually, it didn't hurt that bad. I think it scared me more than anything, but uh, I hopped right back up and uh, of course my nose is all bleeding and stuff and they, they said I had to put a band-aid on otherwise I, I couldn't keep playing. So whatever. We played. The first inning of that game, we had 20 runs. 21, 20 runs in the first inning. And then after that, uh, I think we got three. <laughs> we ended up winning still. It was like 23 to 18. Those guys came and made a comeback, but uh, it was a pretty good game. So um, That's pretty much all I got. This is an unconventional commentary for me. In fact, I don't do commentaries at all. And uh, you get to see my face. And, uh, you know, hopefully I'll, I'll get back into my modeling career because that's where the big money is. That's where I make all my money. This. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope to, uh, I'll, I'll be online still. I won't put, put away my Xbox, but, um, yeah, I don't know how it's going to work. We'll see. Uh, but that's all I got, guys. We'll catch you guys later, and, uh, we'll see ya.